Sir, What's please. going on, y'all? Captain Jody, Bayou Bandit Charters, out here with my friend Bun, with Poke Bowl Sushi Restaurants. Yes, sir. And uh, we're gonna do a little battle today, y'all. I've always used gulp all my life, and my friend Bun uses fish bites, dirty boxers. So we're gonna do a head-to-head -head battle, flounder fishing, and see what works best. I know gulp works, but I want something that holds up better. So we're going to see head-to-head -head battle. Yes, sir. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. What we're going to do is a head-to-head -head battle. I'm using gulp product, and Bun is using fish bites. They're both chartreuse. We're both on a quarter-ounce jig head. We're going to be fishing side-by-side, -side, same area, and I want to see which product works the best. I'm very curious to see. So my technique is from the, the main pattern guy, Brad. Yes. Spike, he said before you use it, you scratch the tail. Get more action. Okay. I can't do that with a go up. The tail yeah, fall off. Yeah, you're gonna fall off. <laughs> really tough. I love it. What we're going to do to keep it fair is I'm going to fish with gulps for an hour. Bun's going to fish with fish bites for an hour. Yeah. Then we're going to swap. What we're doing, we've got a fallen tide situation. Tide's coming out of a little bayou. And we are just bumping bottom right by these rocks. Plenty of bait in the area. This is a slight drop off, drops off to about four to five feet. We're probably in about two foot. Waiting for the bump. See who gets the first flounder. Will it be gulp or will it be fish bite? Oh, the dirty boxer. No. No, he didn't. Let me get the net. Oh, good job, bun. Good job. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. I <laughs> Yeah, dirty boxer for, oh, for the win. Dirty boxer, you can't go wrong with that. Nice. Shoot, yeah. Got a good 15 inch, maybe that. closer to 16 inch fish. We'll measure him if you want to, Bun. Good first fish. Looks like the dirty boxer's winning. Yeah. Well, you got that at 40 minutes, so maybe 30 more minutes. Oh, 15, and we get to swap. <laughs> Lay him up here and we'll see. We'll get a measurement on him. Yep, almost 17 inch fish. Nice. Good job, bud. Thank you, sir. You broke the ice. You got the skunk <laughs> off the boat. Come on, old gulp. You letting me down. You letting me down. Right <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> and see, he's fishing behind me, folks. I already casted right there. They turned down the gulp and hit the dirty boxer. Same color, same size, same jig head. We got 15 minutes and, and we're swapping. One for fish bites, dirty boxer, zero for gulp. <laughs> Love. Uh oh. Oh no. Flounder, baby. Yeah. Flounder. Yeah. All right. Hey. hey. Little there guy. Little guy. I don't even think he's legal, y'all. We're gonna throw him back either way. He's 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 small. Oh, one one. One little flounder. I don't think he's going to be legal. We'll measure him. I'm going to throw him back either way, but I want to see. Yeah, actually, he's 13 inches, which would be a legal fish in Mississippi. Yeah. But we're going to turn him loose. There you go, boy. Grow up. All right, one to one. 
one to one. Fish on. Good fish. Oh, a big flounder. Big flounder. Big flounder. Hey! Boom! Boom! That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes. Good flounder. Oh, shoot. This is 19 in this. Good flounder. That's a 19 of list. That's a 19 of list, Jody. I think so. That's awesome. Jody bit me now. Uh, come on. Give me my hook back. There's a lot of bait over here. That's why. Yes. What you got now? 19? Fixing the sea. Nineteen on the dot, my friend. Nineteen on the dot. Two to one. What? Two to one. Y'all see that? Got a big tear in it. Tear tail's got a cut in it. And we got a little chunk out of it. But I'm going. I'm going to keep fishing with it. I think. It, I think it can go one more fish. <laughs> and I notice we've got similar retrieves. It seems like you drag yours a little bit more. Yeah, I like them to like be on the top of the surface a little bit and swimming. Okay. You know that's uh that's a lot. I don't normally. So that we got a little little different retrieve. I mix it up. Sometimes I'll I'll go from the side. I'll do a bump. Twitch, twitch, pause, yeah. twitch, twitch, pause. My old buddy, my old buddy Nathan Rich, he taught me one. I call it the Rich Twitch. He'll, he'll, he'll twitch it up four or five times. Yes. And the other day we was fishing. He, uh, that's what they wanted. And fishing this direction, we got the tide coming this way. So our lures are, are natural presentation to the fish because they're going with the current. We got we got to swap up. It's been an hour. So that gulp is chewed up, gnawed up in Hey, you won, Cody. Oh, it ain't over. Who won? It ain't over. That's just first round. So that old gulp, he's he's going in the trash. I'm gonna try the first time I have ever really? ever ever even felt a dirty boxer a fish bite lure i do like the fact that it's not in all that liquid the smell isn't as bad and it's got the flat on it here the flat goes to the top correct bun yes okay uh yeah yeah okay okay Dirty boxer. Let's see what you can do for me. And you said pull the tail? Yeah, you can strike them off a little bit. It makes them a little better. That's amazing. You can't do that with a gulp. Look at that stretch I'm putting on that tail. <laughs> I'm the first time ever on a dirty boxer. I got to see what it's all about. Oh, he was on there and got off. Y'all, that was my second cast with this lure. And it was a pretty decent flounder. I just He was right there at the boat, and I just had a bad hook set. I 
I do like the action better on these. Yeah. It, it, that tail has a lot more. Uh oh, I just got another hit. Is he still there? Nope. Fish on! Oh my God! He broke me off, man. Yeah. That was a good, good flounder, y'all. Oh my God! Whoo! I mean, he hit hard. All right, I have retied and putting on a dirty boxer. So you don't get jealous because now I'm tired. <laughs> what's going on man hey what's going on y'all you doing all right i follow you on youtube man well thank you man yeah. thank you i appreciate it I was like, that's, the that's right man i sure appreciate it awesome. yeah we're doing a uh you're out here down here. yep well we got a 19 and a 17 in the boat awesome. threw back a 13 and uh yeah we're doing a little video uh Trying to see what's better, the fish bites or the gulps. Man, I appreciate it. Fish on. What is that? That's a trout. Trout on the dirty boxer. Old speckled trout. There you go. Old speckled trout. Look at that. Calm down now. You old slimy thing. All right. Not the target species. But boy, I thought he was a flounder. He was right up there where a flounder should be. I'm about to bitch you your dick love. <laughs> Come on, brother. Bring it. Head to head battle. <laughs> hey, the, the, the uh, gulp is only ahead by one now. So, I mean, it's a. Uh, and it would be even if my line hadn't have broke because that was a good flounder I lost. Look at that. Uh, see, that's what I don't like about gulp. They don't hold up. They do not hold up. They catch fish, but they don't hold up good. And I've seen these, these dirty boxers. They're tough. You can stretch your tail on them. Oh, that was a flounder. God, that was a flounder. Look, that's what I like about that. That lure isn't hurt at all. That's going to that's gonna be hard for me to get used to, not having to change out every time you get, a, get hammered like that. I'm getting tagged as soon as it hit the water. I don't think it's a flounder, though. Oh, yes, it is. Nope. <laughs> that's a trout. Oh yeah. That's a trout. Dirty boxer again. Yes, dirty boxer with a trout. Well, we definitely caught more fish on the dirty boxers. And look at that guy's tail is still intact. Yes, sir. That is so nice. I mean, I've always enjoyed using gulp other than the smell and them being slimy and them falling apart. But yeah. it's, uh, it's nice to be able to catch fish and be able to keep fishing. Don't have all that time changing lures. Oh, that's a drum. Yeah, it may be. I like the spot over there. I got something. I got fish. Flounder. Flounder. Get the net. Dirty boxer, y'all. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, sir. That's the 17, 18. 17, 18 inch flounder on a dirty boxer. Wow. Look how dark that flounder is. See? Cup ten. That's how cup ten do. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That lure is still in good shape. Still in good shape. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, don't you go nowhere. All right, we're sitting on. I got a boat coming. 18 inch fish. Eighteen inch fish in the box. All right, now we got a tie. We've got a dirty boxer gulp tie. But I still have to say the wind's going to go for me to that dirty boxer because that lure. I've had so many croaker hit that lure. I caught that flounder on it, and it's it's still in good shape, y'all. It is not hurt. I thought it was an oyster shell and I just, I, I didn't even really set the hook, I just pulled and I felt that weight coming with me and then he took off. Yes, so if he hadn't inhaled that lure, I did not have a good hook set. He did that all on his own. We have a 17, an 18, and a 19. And we caught that 13, we turned back. So we've got two on the gulp, two on the dirty boxer. But we've gone through a lot more gulp than we have the dirty boxer. Cause they hold up extremely well. Flounder. Flounder. Yes, sir. Good one. Small, big. He's keeper. He's not real big. But he's keeper. All right. Dirty boxer for the win, y'all. Dirty boxer for the win. My cup ten. <laughs> Dirty boxer for the win. Yeah, he's sitting on 13 and a half. Wow. Legal Mississippi flounder. In the box. Right. Yep, 12 inches. Those are good for frying whole or baking, stuffing them. And hey, still got my dirty boxer. Completely intact. I can't even catch one on gloves. <laughs> you want to swap out? Yeah, I want to swap out. Swap out. Alright y'all, to close this video out, uh, I'm going to tell y'all why I recommend the fish bites over the gulps. I've used gulp all my life. Gulps will catch fish. Uh, I'm new to fish bites and I really like them and I'll tell y'all why. Uh, this is your 4 inch gulp grub. This is your 5 inch fish bites dirty boxer. If you buy a $6.99 pack of the 4 inch gulp, you get four baits y'all for $6.99 the uh, fish bites dirty boxer is an inch bigger bait and you get six in the pack for the same price I'm here to tell you both products are catch fish but the best bang for your buck is going to be these fish bites you get two more lures which are a bigger lure you've got a lot longer tail you've got the action in that tail and that's what makes a lot of difference right there. Y'all check it out. There's a gulp. We're going to pull on the tail. And the tail pulled apart. And I was pulling on it pretty good to do that. You take this fish bite. And you pull on the tail. I mean, I'm pulling, I'm pulling on that tail, y'all. I'm stretching it out three times the length of the bait and it holds up I mean it it absolutely holds up I've stretched that tail out a good bit y'all can see and the bait's not damaged the gulp it's a different story 
the chartreuse gulp is the best gulp for holding up of any of them i mean they hold up pretty decent but they'll break and tear fish bites just keep on i mean you, you can't hardly i'm getting little little slivers off of it but it's holding up uh to me that's the best bang for your buck that's what i'll be using from now on i hope the video helps uh i know lures and uh, baits are expensive and it all adds up uh but to me that's what i'm gonna be using they hold up well they catch fish i caught more uh actually more trout i didn't catch any trout on the gup this last trip but i did on the fish bites and uh the, the croaker biting and nibbling at them the whites are the worst with the gups they get the tails quick that's why i just about only use chartreuse on the gup because they hold up better than any of the other gup products and the fish bites it doesn't matter what color you use they're all the same strength and uh i like them that's my recommendation uh hope y'all found the video informative if you did give it a thumbs up if you hadn't subscribed already please consider doing so thank y'all see y'all on the next one